After the immediate crisis has passed, the first 90 days following a heart attack are considered a high risk period because the likelihood of having another heart attack or other cardiovascular event, such as a stroke or cardiac arrest, increases for many reasons. The damaged heart muscle needs time to heal. The risk of complications, that is the chance of complications is higher, and the underlying conditions that lead or led to the heart attack may still be present. Additionally, patients may experience anxiety or fear or depression, and all that can get in the way of taking medications as prescribed or making lifestyle changes. The road to recovery is a complex journey and there's no one size fits all approach, but there are some steps that people can take to improve their chances of survival and minimize damage to the heart. For the first 90 days, patients should be closely monitored and attend regular follow-up appointments with their doctor or doctors. These visits include testing and treatment plans. During this period, patients should also look at their lifestyle, how they eat, are they smoking, um, are they physically active, and make the positive changes to improve on the risk factors that can lead to cardiovascular disease. First thing to do, as I already said, stop smoking and start eating healthier foods so you can maintain a proper weight, help your heart health, and prevent future heart problems. Next, you may be wondering when patients can start to exercise, go back to work, drive, drink alcohol, have sex, etc. Many of these questions are answered during cardiac rehabilitation, which can begin one to two weeks after a heart attack. Rehab, rehabilitation, is a structured approach to exercise under the guidance of professionals tailored for the individual's needs. Walking and other light exercise is generally encouraged very soon after a heart attack, but the timing and intensity may vary. The same goes for driving but only if the patient hasn't had a procedure. Patients who've had a procedure such as angioplasty or a bypass may have to wait four to six weeks or more to drive. Patients should generally wait a couple of weeks before returning to work and definitely avoid heavy lifting or strenuous labor. Alcohol consumption is best to avoid because it can negatively affect your heart and interact with medications. As for resuming sex, patients really should listen to their body and not push themselves too hard. In general, patients should resume daily activities slowly and generally increase activity levels over time. Additionally, heart attack patients may experience mental health concerns, including anxiety, depression, and post-traumatic stress disorder, that is PTSD. Anxiety in particular can cause physical symptoms, such as chest pain, your heart racing, that mimics heart attack symptoms. Depression may cause changes in appetite or sleep and get in the way of doing those healthy things, taking your medicine, not smoking, being physically active. While PTSD symptoms may include flashbacks, intrusive thoughts, or hyperarousal. It's just as important for heart attack patients to seek help for mental health issues as it is to get help for physical issues. Treatment can improve quality of life and reduce the risk of future heart problems. To sum up, the first 90 days following a heart attack are a high risk period for patients. After the crisis has passed, the immediate focus should be on preventing additional heart attacks or other events with medical intervention, lifestyle changes for the positive, and cardiac rehabilitation. Eventually, patients will transition to a long-term view of recovery and a long-term view of life and a return to a new and better normal.